MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. A scary mix, we've got MTD CNC and a bunch of students. We're at the University of Edinburgh where we're reviewing the 99 Helix drill range. Specifically, we're going to have a chat with Graham from ACT. But first of all, let's go and have a chat with Steve, who's from the university's engineering department. Stephen, fantastic facility. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, this is the School of Engineering. We support six um, institutes based within the School of Engineering. We have 150 staff, uh, 350 postgrad students and over 1,400 undergrad students. So we supply a technical service to all these groups, whether it's research or whether it's undergrad projects. So we've developed this facility within the last five years technically to support the demands of the huge research groups and undergrad projects that we have over the last few years. Uh, the complexity uh, of the parts that we have to manufacture now has you know, grown based on the CAD CAM facilities and CAD facilities that students and researchers now have access to. So we've developed this you know, fairly extensively from what it was five years ago. We're with Graham from ACT. They have the exclusive UK rights to distribute 99 tooling. Graham, very interesting looking piece of tooling here. Tell me all about it. This is the latest addition to the uh, 99 range. It's the helixing drill. Um, it can go from as small as 13 millimeter up to 65 millimeters using just six tools. Uh, the biggest difference on this tool is the helixing process that it goes through. The insert if you get a good look at it, uh, it's a sinusoidal waveform on the insert, which two benefits, very short chipping and low cutting force on the machine. On a, this particular application, like on an XYZ, this machine's only got five horsepower, um, so you can produce a decent size hole and a very good depth, you know, with minimum pressure on the machine and load on the machine, so. Okay, so low, low horsepower, which is fine. Um, chipping the material? Yep, uh, and every material we've tested so far, you know, from nylons, plastics, right up through to exotic type materials, you get a short chip. Oh, yeah. the, the coolant will evacuate that very mm -hmm. easily. You're not getting any long stringy chips, you know, so you're not getting swath evacuation problems. Yep. Um, and it works on a low power machine, it works on a, you know, high horsepower machine as well. And you, the, the chip form it's been a constant throughout everything that we've tried so far. Okay, so very flex flexible in that aspect, yep. but only a small amount of tools. So in terms of the drilling, how does that work? Well, the smallest size of the tool actually in diameter is yep. 10 millimetres and it helixes, so it has to helix at 13 millimetres. Um, so in a helix in form, it'll, it'll go down. So it's actually cutting as in a milling sort of type of form, gotcha. not just plunging like a normal drill. So the forces are a lot less. Uh, it works calculating wise on its pitch as in maybe like a thread mill mm -hmm. so you're you're generating down it's producing this short chip the waveform on the end of it yep. and uh, uh, you can produce any hole once you get to the 65 millimeter hole using the 32 millimeter diameter cutter it's infinite if you want to do a 200 millimeter hole you just keep pitching across and okay. getting bigger and bigger and bigger and um, obviously looking at design very rigid it is very rigid yep this is uh, we do a solid car carbide uh, through coolant type with a cartridge yep. on the end and we do a solid tool for non through coolant machines. Yep. Um, the core body is solid, bigger diameter. The helix on the, the drill yep. itself is there for two purposes. It draws the coolant down onto the uh, okay. work area yep. and it also helps evacuate the swarf. Got you. Okay, so take coolant in, swarf out. Um, moving on then, what sort of industries, any particular industries are good at or, and also materials? Uh, automotive industry, the aerospace yep. industry with a pocket in, yep. um, oil and gas side of things, you know, they're doing an awful lot of holes yep. and uh, in the past they'd be using a huge amount of drills yep. uh, and they can condense it down now, you know, to have six, six tools sitting in their, their, their okay. range. Um, expense wise, the cost is going to get reduced. Um, programming side of things, you know, they, could, they can put a, a hole in and then counter bore with the same tool. So minimising operation chain, tool changes and that sort of thing. You know, so a lot of flexibility in the tool. Also, when it gets to the bottom of the hole, even though it's got the waveform on the end of it, yep. if the insert does a complete sweep, which is down to the programming side of it, you get a completely flat bottom, which, once again, is very difficult to achieve with a more conventional drill, you know, with a standard point geometry or 
a UDRAW type, you know, that gives you that wave, you have to go back down with another tool. Um, if, you're, if you're not looking for a particularly brilliant finish down the side walls, you know, you're going to get a good finish and you can just take the tool away and actually got your hole in gotcha. place. So, yeah, it's, uh, we're very excited about it. It's very revolutionary. People are looking at it and saying, what's that, which is good because it shows an interest. So we think we're on a winner. Yeah. Excellent. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.